uh, by Bohr had to be uh, a product with a very strong 3D component. That's why we chose uh, Unity, which is a tool normally used for game development. Uh, a choice that could be could seem quite foolish in the beginning because we had to give up uh, all kind of tools for text, for managing pages and all those kind of things. Uh, but thinking about that afterwards, uh, the choice was really the right one because we uh, had to manage at the same time in, in space thousands of uh, uh, characters, pictures and uh, game development system is exactly done for that, uh, managing a lot of things in real time and that's exactly what we needed. On top of that, uh, Unity was a, we had to develop other interfaces, 3D interfaces. We didn't want the product to have a flat look and feel. It, has, it had to have an overall 3D look. Uh, for example, if you take the gallery, the gallery where you have all the books of the Bible, you have a parallax effect that you also find now in the newly developed iOS 7 from Apple. So it's, uh, it's really 3D, we think 3D is the way to go for user interface on tablets. Uh, we didn't want, okay, we wanted to develop a 3D book, but we didn't want to uh, confront the user with something he didn't know, with something unfamiliar. So we needed to start from an, an original format with an easily readable text that could evolve in different forms in a 3D text with notes, with could uh, be seen in perspective along the screen of the tablet. And also for this, for this kind of transformation of, of vision, uh, using a 3D game tool was really the right choice. We wanted to get rid of the page metaphor, not because we don't like books or pages, but because the page metaphor uh, was something born to distribute the Bible on paper, on books. So the text had to be, con to be confined on a kind of rectangle, which is the page. On modern tablets, you don't have this constraint anymore. So you can have the text as flowing as it was in the beginning with the Bible, because the Bible originally was in a scroll format. And that's what we did by bringing the Bible back to its original scroll format on, on the tablet, on the iPad. We also needed to have uh, uh, 3D immersive environments like the cathedral or the symbols. For example, you have a, an interface, we had to design an interface to access different families of symbols which are related to the Bible. And the user actually enters these sections, uh, enters the sections about uh, daily life, about numbers and then is confronted with different symbols and touching uh, any of these symbols he has access to the correspondent verses of the Bible. And this could only be achieved using a 3D system. Also a section on history where on one side you have history of mankind, on the other side you have uh, Bible history, events related to the Bible, uh, needed a 3D component to be developed because the user really goes through this kind of gallery and starts from 2000 BC and then arrives till uh, year 70 and finds events in all these periods uh, which are distributed along a timeline that can navigate back and forth. Also for maps we wanted to depart from a flat uh, metaphor. Uh, you, you have the possibility to browse maps like a bird's eye view uh, selecting all the points of interest and accessing description, pictures and everything, but also having a flat view, more safer, let's say safer view for the user, more familiar view for the user where you have uh, an overview of the map where you can see the, the, the path of the Exodus or uh, how Palestine was at the, time, at the time of Jesus Christ.